Welcome to UK Learnings. After watch this video, please subscribe to our channel to give us your support. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get upcoming videos. Good luck for your exam. What does the UK offer to its permanent residents or citizens? A right to judge others, a right to join in the election of a government, free access to all national museums, a discount in taxes. The correct answer is a right to join in the election of a government. Which of the following is not a fundamental principle of British life? Tolerance of those with different faiths and beliefs. The rule of law. Autocracy. Democracy. The correct answer is autocracy. The fundamental principles of British life include tolerance of those with different faiths and beliefs. The rule of law. Democracy. Individual liberty and participation in community life. What does the UK offer to its residents or citizens? Choose five answers. Freedom of belief and religion. Freedom of speech. Freedom from unfair discrimination. A right to a fair trial. Free university tuition fees. A right to join in the election of a government. The correct answers are. The UK offers to its residents or citizens. Freedom of belief and religion. Freedom of speech. Freedom from unfair discrimination, a right to a fair trial and a right to join in the election of a government. What do you need to apply to become a permanent resident or citizen of the UK? Choose two options. A British driving license. To be able to speak and read English. A British university degree. A good understanding of life in the UK. The correct answers are to be able to speak and read English and a good understanding of life in the UK. To apply to become a permanent resident or citizen of the UK. You will need to speak and read English and have a good understanding of life in the UK. Which of the following is a fundamental principle of life in the UK? Intolerance of those with different beliefs. Individual liberty. Rule of men. Lack of social cohesion. The correct answer is individual liberty. The fundamental principles of British life include democracy, the rule of law, individual liberty, tolerance of those with different faiths and beliefs, and participation in community life. Which two of the following responsibilities will you have as a permanent resident or citizen of the UK? To respect and obey the law. To go to church on Sundays. To look after the area in which you live in the environment. To do the military service. The correct answers are to respect and obey the law and to look after the area in which you live in the environment. If you wish to be a permanent resident or citizen of the UK, you should respect and obey the law, respect the rights of others, including their right to their own opinions, treat others with fairness, look after yourself and your family and look after the area in which you live in the environment. Participation in community life is a fundamental principle of British life. True. False. The correct answer is true. The fundamental principles of British life include participation in community life. To look after yourself and your family is one of the responsibilities that you will have as a permanent resident or citizen of the UK. True. False. The correct answer is true. In which of the following languages is the life in the UK test not available? English, Scottish Gaelic, French, Welsh. The correct answer is French. The life in the UK test is usually taken is English, although special arrangements can be made if you wish to take it in Welsh or Scottish Gaelic. Which of the following statements is true? To apply to become a permanent resident or citizen of the UK, you will need to have a university degree. To apply to become a permanent resident or citizen of the UK, you will need to have a good understanding of life in the UK. To apply to become a permanent resident or citizen of the UK, you will need to have British relatives. To apply to become a permanent resident or citizen of the UK, 
you will need to have knowledge of the British laws. The correct answer is to apply to become a permanent resident or citizen of the UK. You will need to have a good understanding of life in the UK and be able to speak and read English. Which two of the following are fundamental principles of British life? Tolerance of those with different faiths and beliefs. Buying food from local business. The rule of law. Doing the military service. The correct answers are tolerance of those with different faiths and beliefs and the rule of law are fundamental principles of British life. What does the UK offer in return to its residents or citizens? Free undergraduate tuition fees, a right to a fair trial, VIP tickets for local events, free parking across the country. The correct answer is a right to a fair trial. Which of the following territories does not belong to Great Britain? Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, England. The correct answer is Northern Ireland. Great Britain refers only to England, Scotland and Wales, not to Northern Ireland. Which two of the following islands are known as Crown Dependencies? Ceylon, the Isle of Man, the Channel Islands, Ireland. The correct answers are the Isle of Man and the Channel Islands. There are also several islands which are closely linked with the UK but are not part of it. The Channel Islands and the Isle of Man. These have their own governments and are called Crown Dependencies. Where is the Parliament of the UK located? In Manchester, in Westminster, in Windsor Castle, in Buckingham Palace? The correct answer is in Westminster. The UK is governed by the Parliament sitting in Westminster. Which of the following are British Overseas Territories? Ireland, the Canary Islands, St. Helena, the Falkland Islands. The correct answers are St. Helena and the Falkland Islands. There are several British Overseas Territories in other parts of the world, such as St. Helena and the Falkland Islands. They are also linked to the UK but are not part of it. St. Helena is a British Overseas Territory. True. False. The correct answer is true. British Overseas Territories in other parts of the world include St. Helena and the Falkland Islands. They are also linked to the UK but are not part of it. The Isle of Man is a Crown Dependency. True. False. The correct answer is true. There are several islands which are closely linked with the UK but are not part of it. The Channel Islands and the Isle of Man. These have their own governments and are called Crown Dependencies. Which two islands are closely linked to the UK but are not part of it? The Isle of Man, Malta, the Channel Islands, Fiji. The correct answers are the Isle of Man and the Channel Islands. The Channel Islands and the Isle of Man are closely linked to the UK but are not part of it. Which of the following are Crown Dependencies? Ireland and Malta, the Maldives and Anglesey, the Isle of Man and the Channel Islands, the Isle of Wight and Northern Ireland. The correct answer is, the Isle of Man and the Channel Islands are Crown Dependencies. British values and principles are based on history and traditions and are protected by law. Customs and expectations. True. False. The correct answer is true. Which of the following lines does not form part of the citizenship pledge? I will give my loyalty to the United Kingdom. I will uphold its democratic values. Long live our noble Queen. I will observe its laws faithfully. The correct answer is long live our noble Queen. Long live our noble Queen is the second sentence of the national anthem of the UK. As part of the citizenship ceremony, New citizens pledge their loyalty to the United Kingdom and to respect its rights and freedoms. True. False. The correct answer is true. Which of the following sentences is true? The UK is governed by the Parliament sitting in Edinburgh. Scotland and Wales have parliaments or assemblies of their own, but not Northern Ireland. Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland also have parliaments or assemblies of their own 
with devolved powers in defined areas. The UK is governed by the Parliament sitting in Glasgow. The correct answer is Scotland. Wales and Northern Ireland also have parliaments or assemblies of their own, with devolved powers in defined areas. Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland also have parliaments or assemblies of their own, with devolved powers in defined areas. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please subscribe UK Learning's YouTube channel, share with your friends and family. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get more videos. Your support will encourage us to make more videos. We wish you all the best for your exam.